They said his name was James. When he spit forth lyrics out of his mouth, they say they see flames. Three! Jumping, 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 so what you're about to see over the next couple of clips, actually a lot of clips, is lots of different people getting hypnotized. Um, now all these people that we hypnotize in the street, you've got to bear in mind that they probably have a reason to be on the street. Maybe they're at the art, uh, looking at the art displays. Maybe they're at the farmer's market. Maybe they're having uh, going out for dinner. Maybe they are you know, actually going out on a family walk. Whatever the reason is, they never came out to actually be hypnotized. So. Um, Keep watching, you're gonna see how we stop people in the street, get them hypnotized, and how they leave with a good feeling of hypnosis. Watch the video. This way. Just that way, not your whole body, just this way. This way, Brian, not your whole body, just this way. That way, Brian, that's right, like this. Right handed, take a deep breath in. Look above there, look above there. Back to my brother, resting, relaxing, collapsing, keeping your eyes closed at all times, resting, relaxing, the more you relax, the better you feel. In a second, but not yet, Brian, your eyes will be open, you'll be fully alert and wide awake on three. One, two, and three! That's good job, Brian. We're going to do that again. Feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Funniest thing is, when I snap my fingers, you're going to find out that your shoes are on the wrong feet. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> shoes on the wrong feet? Oh, wow, that's crazy. Right. Turn it toward you. That finger's gonna come right toward your face, slowly toward your face. As soon as it touches your face, you're gonna just drop right off the sleeve. Can't stop it. Alright. Second but not yet, you just I'll just lay down please stand before I touch you. Will you try and remember your first name? Focus on where your name is here. Jump it, jump it, jump it, don't look at me, just pass it, 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 Now in a second but not yet, we'll start with the hypnosis. One, two, and three. Eyes open. All right, so we're going to begin the, begin the process. Okay. But even then, you feel good, eh? And exhale all the way, all the way out. Pretty, 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 pretty. Arms up, relax, hands strong. You're doing perfect. 
Every number I count down backwards from five down to zero, there's a lot of stuff you're going to use and deeper with every number. Hey, so it's Richard Barker, the incredible hypnotist. I'm down here with my main man, Sean. Now, we have been doing uh, street hypnosis and a little bit of mentalism for the last couple of days. Now, people that are watching this video, some people aren't as advanced as you or progressed as you. Um, for a brand new beginner, like somebody that's been watching some like YouTube videos of street hypnosis, what are some of the things you would tell them, some advice uh, as a beginner that hasn't yet got on the street? Well, um, <clears throat> pick one, one induction because um, a lot of times you'll want to learn five or six of them and you don't need five or six. Just get good at one, maybe two, so you can just kind of mix it up. Um, I would recommend taking a live training because uh, you know you can learn how to drive a car in a book but until you actually do it um, it's kind of hard but if you really want to get good at it <clears throat> take a live training with a master hypnotist like Richard um, and just get out there and do it just got to do it you're gonna you're gonna have some flops but it isn't you it's them you're you, you're, a, you're a perfect hypnotist sometimes the subject just isn't perfect for whatever reason distractions or whatever but just gotta go and do it. Take a training, a live training with a master hypnotist like Richard, and uh, you'll get it. Right. And, I, and I think overall, like with any psychomotor skill, the more you do it, the better you become at it. The more repetition, the more you home in your skills. It's like DJs, you know, DJs to get good at being a DJ, it's just about DJing. The more you DJ, the better you become. And the more you actually play in live environments, the better the DJ you become. And it's exactly the same with hypnotists. Um, even more so with street hypnosis because you need an extra level of confidence and self-confidence but the more you do it the more your confidence and here's a swan here's a swan <laughs> i think we hypnotized this one the thing is when they <laughs> when they peck you on the back of the leg it hurts <laughs> but the more you practice i think the better you become and the best way to practice is in a street like this or a public park or somewhere random and we probably hypnotize combined now I, probably close to at least 60 to 80 people I mean, it's, a, it's been a lot over the last couple of days and we've yeah. had our failures yeah. we've had our failures especially early on and we got into the groove and I think you know once you get in get somebody who starts to get hypnotized you draw a crowd of people that start to watch then those people that start to watch are, are already being conditioned and it's easier for the people to watch about what's going to happen next so they become easier so once you draw the crowd move on through start hypnotizing the next, next set of people next next and just keep going <laughs> and then start practicing different routines so if you're watching this and you have not yet gone out on the street but you've read a book you've looked at the YouTube uh, you've looked at different things and you have not yet taken the class Sean is absolutely right take a live training class make sure it is somewhere on the street so that you can learn on the street and perform on the street if you have taken the class and it was on the street then you want to increase your chances of success by getting on the street and actually doing it.